taking my heartbeat after that thrilling finish and joining me here at the scorer's table, the man of the hour, Jamaris Blackman. JB, tell me about that last play. Man, you know, we were expecting we were expecting to make, you know, always expecting the worst. We, coach set up the play for me, you know, swoop through, get the ball in transition. You know, AJ got the rebound, he got it to me, and I, you know, got out in transition. It's like coach rode up. And, and I, you know, got to, got to a good spot, made a good shot. Nice one-handed floater. Yep. It just got nothing but the bottom of the net. It was gorgeous from our point of view. Interestingly enough, you know, it was a tight game, and when he missed that shot, I thought, oh, that's the worst possible place he could miss. It carried him off the Long side, rebound. headed yeah. towards the sideline, and I'm thinking, how are we going to get a shot up? But yet, there it was. Now, are these things, and Coach Von Vogt was saying, there are late-game situations that you have certain plays that you use. Was that one of them? Absolutely. That was one of them. One of the many that Coach, you know, introduced to us throughout the year. But that's one that we've been working on throughout practice, and then we got to put it in today. So, Got to give credit to the Bobcats. They played a tough game. Yeah. They yeah, they, they really killed you guys on the boards tonight. That's As a matter of fact, you guys got out-rebounded 40-23, to 15-4 to 4 on the offensive glass, and from three-point land, just 2 of 14 for y'all. Yeah, that's tough. Those have been, you know, some areas of struggle that we'll continue to work on, you know, get better through throughout the season. So. That's something we definitely are going to go in and talk about and watch film on and get better from. So now you got a week back in the gym, get some practice going, and then you're off to Idaho. Yep. You looking forward to that? I am. A little bit closer to home. <laughs> Excited to go out there. So yeah, got two you got big a couple games. Good, yeah, a couple yep. good games out there. You're going to be taking on Central Washington and then Northwest, Northwest Nazarene. Nazarene. Yeah, two good teams. And then we come the back for the month of December, and it's nothing but home games. you got five of them in a row. Maritime, Westmont, Dominican, Menlo. That's actually four from the 2nd through the 19th, and I'm telling people, go to jessupathletics.com, get your tickets, because there's no more exciting game in town than Warrior Basketball oh, no. right now. We, we protect the home court, as you can see. You know, we have we got some thrillers over here in Jessup Arena, so, you know, people got to come out. Got to sure. come out and see it, and you got to see my man Jamaris here. He had a good game tonight, 15 points, a rebound, a couple of helpers, none bigger than that final shot of the night where he popped it in, and we walk out with the W. Absolutely. All right, favorite food? Favorite food, man. I'm going to go with a restaurant that I've been going to out here recently. I've been going to this Chinese spot, Flow Hole in the Wall. What's it called? It's Prime Walk. It's just right up the street. Okay, I'm writing that down. portions, orange chicken, fried rice. Prime Good Walk. To go. yeah. Okay, do they serve dessert there, or do you go somewhere else for that? Uh, I go somewhere else for dessert. What you got? Uh, there's an ice cream spot called Handles. Plenty of ice cream flavors. All right, these are two new places to me, and I appreciate that as much as I appreciate you, my Absolutely. friend. Absolutely, appreciate Jamaris you, Jamaris Blackman always. with a great game. Great game-winning shot, and the Warriors get out of here with the 64-63 victory, and that'll do it from Warrior.